Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today, I thought I'd go through my diagnosis story. So, for my mental health, it starts when I was 13 and I was diagnosed with bipolar type 1 and anxiety. I believe I've always suffered from anxiety issues and honestly, I've never been able to manage it. It's always been a problem. I am on medication for it now, and that medication is clonazepam and lorazepam. Then I got a bit older, I turned 16, and I was diagnosed with anorexia, as well as bipolar type 1, and I recovered from anorexia and was di re-diagnosed with EDNOS, which is eating disorder not otherwise specified. But that was when I was in, that was when I was 17. When I was 17, I made my first attempt on my life and it just saddened me a bit to think about because I was so young and what I did was so serious. Like, how did I even think of it? I was fucking 17. I do genuinely think that mental illness has shaped my life to be the way it is. And that's not a bad thing. I'm happy with her where I am in life. When I was 17, I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. And if you followed my channel for a long time, you'll see, remember this video. That I didn't understand my diagnosis. I'll link it on the card up there. Then we fast forward to when I was 21. I was diagnosed with bipolar type 1, borderline personality disorder, EDNOS, anxiety, and PTSD. Now, I still have issues with my PTSD, and I'm in no way recovered from my PTSD. I'm just not, I'm not going to be doing therapy for my for my PTSD. I genuinely don't think it will help. I think it'll make things a lot worse and I risk relapsing with my other mental illnesses. And yes, PTSD sucks, but I've learned how to cope with flashbacks and nightmares and getting better at managing. I do wake up in the middle of the night sometimes and I do scream in my sleep sometimes, but honestly, I don't think therapy will help with that. I think it'll unsettle me. I think it'll be, I think it's the wrong thing to do for me. I'm not saying don't do trauma therapy, by any means but I'm saying I personally don't think it will help me as a person. When I was 22 I was diagnosed with bipolar type 1, borderline personality disorder, PTSD, anxiety, EDNOS, depersonalization and derealization which has now been removed from my diagnosis and then we're gonna fast forward to this year so I'm 26 and when I was in, when I turned 26 I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, anxiety, PTSD, EDNOS. Since being diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, I've definitely been able to stabilise myself a lot more. And it makes sense given my symptoms, like hallucinations, delusions, and then the depressive side of it, so severe depression. That's just a little background on my diagnosis. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, and if you are new, subscribe, join the growing family, if you didn't know, I have a Patreon, it's literally $3, it can be more if you choose to donate more, each of the tiers has their own rewards, and I post twice a month, most of the time, of bonus content that's never going to be shared on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.